The OLED TV market is becoming more crowded now that Samsung has stepped into the field with its 95B model, but that hasn't slowed down Sony. Its latest flagship OLED TV, the Sony Bravia XR and an 85K, boasts a quantum dot layer that enables an impressively wide color range, a Google TV interface that supports Apple AirPlay 2, Google Cast, enhanced free Google Assistant, and behind the panel actuators that drive powerful, crisp sound. It has the same ambient light sensitivity problem as the 95B, however, and lacks that model's color precision and accuracy. But the Anonity 5 case interface is richer in features and much less frustrating than Samsung's smart TV platform. The LG C2, meanwhile, offers both fantastic contrast with visually perfect black levels and nearly ideal color for much less than the Anonity 5K, which is why it remains our editor's choice winner. Some visual flourishes. The table stand for the Anonity 5K is completely invisible from the front, which is a big departure from the long. Flat legs on the corners of the Sony Anonity J. Instead, the stand is a nearly foot deep, flat, weighted panel that curves behind the TV and provides plenty of stability. This design means the TV leans a few degrees back, but this tilt is barely noticeable and nowhere near as significant as the one on Sony's Easel-like AMD OLED TV from 2017. The TV also supports standard VS amounts if you want to hang it on a wall. The Anonity 5 case panel is just a bit thicker than the quarter-inch OLED TV we've recently tested, such as the LG C2 and Samsung's 90, including the black plastic casing that covers the entire upper back. The screen measures a half-inch deep. That plastic thickens out to a width of about 1.7 inches for the lower two-thirds of the TV where it houses the necessary electronics and ports. All recent OLED TV we've tested feature this sort of design, and although the thick black plastic means the screen is a bit thicker than typical, the overall depth here is comparable with the LG and Samsung models. These relatively minor visual distinctions mean nothing compared with the most distinguishing aspect of the Anonity 5K. The onboard Bravia Cam, a short black rectangle juts above the top of the screen and shows up a camera lens and two microphone pinholes. This camera enables video chat on the Anonity 5K along with picture optimization based on the lighting and sound conditions of the room. We generally recommend turning this kind of feature off, but it's available if you want it and appears to be more advanced than the one that accompanies the typical ambient light sensor on other TV. The lens features a mechanical shutter, and you can also fully unplug and remove the unit from the TV for privacy or just to make the top of the TV look tidy. All ports face left or down on the left side of the TV rear panel. The left-facing ports include an HDMI port, USB port, 3.5M composite video input, 3.5M remote sensor input, and a set of spring terminals to accept center channel audio from an AV receiver. The spring terminals are notable if you want to incorporate the Anonity 5K into a home theater with existing stereo or surround speakers that get power from a receiver or amp. The connection is rare but the panel vibrating actuators Sony uses in its OLED TV are capable of the very crisp, clean sound necessary for the often dialogue-focused center channel. A mic mute switch also sits on the left side, while the rest of the inputs face down just below that section including three more HDMI ports, one eARC, another USB port, an Ethernet port, an optical audio output, a 3.5mm RS-232C port for control system integration, and an antenna cable connector. The remote is a simple, elegant, and rectangular wand with rounded corners and a gray metal plate on the top that lends it a premium tactile feel. A large circular direction pad sits near the top, with a pinhole microphone as well as power, menu, and input buttons above it. Home and back buttons reside below the pad along with volume and channel rockers, a mute button, and a Google Assistant button, playback controls, and dedicated buttons for Amazon Prime Video. Disney+, Plus, Netflix, and Sony's Bravia Core service are further down the remote. Google TV with Apple AirPlay. Like other Sony TV, the Anonity 5K uses the Google TV Smart TV. Google TV is a full-featured system that provides access to all the major video streaming services along with a generous number of more niche apps and services. It supports Google Cast for mirroring your Android phone or tablet, or Chrome browser tab to the TV. Sony also added Apple AirPlay 2 support, a rare sight on a Google TV device, which ensures you can share whatever content is on your phone regardless of whether it runs Android or a unique OLED that's ideal for home theaters. The Sony Anonity 5K is a striking, 
Vivid OLED TV with plenty of features that benefits from both the Google TV platform and support for Apple AirPlay. It offers a wider color range than any previous model in its lineup. Though those colors aren't quite as accurate as on the LG C2 or Samsung S90, the TV also, unfortunately, shares the S95B's issue with ambient light due to its quantum dial layer. The editor's choice winning LG C2 has perfect black levels and nearly perfect color. Plus costs significantly less than either the Anon 85K or the S95B. $2,999.99 for the 60. The Anon 85K's crisp, clear sound and speaker connection make it a good choice if you want to integrate your TV into an AV receiver powered surround system, but otherwise, we recommend the LG C2 because of its superior picture quality and friendlier. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.